Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Well, this video is a video I hadn't planned to do, uh, but I, I'm thinking about it. I thought it would be a good idea to do this. If you saw my previous video on what was coming up this year, I said I'd be releasing some updated software and I probably wasn't gonna do a video about it, but on second thoughts, I thought it might be a good idea to do one and also include the correct procedure for setting up the accessors for homing and getting them going in the right direction. So that's basically what this video is gonna be about. I've updated the software, which by the time you see this video will be uh, up on the website you can download. It, there's nothing major updated apart from this access configuration to make it a lot easier for you. And we'll go through the correct procedure to do this because you can have an access going in the right direction but homing going in the wrong direction and, and vice versa and there's a correct way to do it so that's what we're going to cover in this video and it's hopefully it's not going to be too long this video so um, if you are struggling and I do get a few emails from guys that are struggling to get the uh, either the homing or the uh, one of the access going in the right direction then this should help you out quite a lot previously you had to go onto the website and look at a table there of knowing which access to invert and then you'd have to put a value into dollar three for the access direction or dollar 23 for the homing direction and it could be a little bit confusing i must admit when i first started i did get uh, get it wrong a few times before i sort of grasped it so um, i've been thinking about doing this for a while on the software and i've been testing it and uh, you know it all works fine now so uh, so what we'll do without further ado we'll get on to the first step and the first step is going to be preparing the foam cutter for doing this testing. So we'll see you in the next section. So first thing we need to do, we need to prepare the foam cutter before we start trying to move the axis or check the home in. Now the reason for that is, and I speak from experience, if we don't do that, we can end up with a, a flexible cupper that looks like that when it should look like that. So if I just see the difference there. Um, the, the reason that happens is if you've got the foam cutter and it's hard against the stops and the axis all of a sudden goes in the wrong direction, what it can do, because the stepper motors are powerful, it will just stretch these. So uh, this isn't the only one I've done, I've done a couple of these. So what we need to do is prepare the foam cutter and we need to move the axis away from the stops. Now what we need to do to make sure that we don't damage the controller is we're going to be turning these by hand to move it away. We need to disconnect the motors. Um, otherwise, what can happen, these motors will act like a, um, a generator and induce current and voltage back into the wires and potentially there is a risk of damaging the controller. So you, you, know, you don't want to be doing that. So what we'll do first of all, we'll disconnect the uh, motors um, if you've got these connectors on that just plug in, um, that they're quite easy to. Uh, so all we do is we just unplug. Back one's a little bit harder to get to. Do the top one there and there. So what we can do now is now move these by hand. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> and we're not risking of damaging the motors. And we're going to be using um, a distance of one millimetre first of all to just to check that the axis goes in the right direction. So we'll do the same on all of them. There we are, and we've got, uh, there's no risk now of uh, damaging the controller. So what we need to do now is plug our motors back in. Back ones are a little bit more awkward. That one's in. Right. So now the foam cutter's com 
prepared, we can go on to the next step, which is installing the software. So in this section, guys, we'll look at the software. And uh, this is version 5.1. So by the time you look at this uh, video, the software will be up on the website. So if you just go on to the download section, And at the moment we're showing 502, uh, but it will be showing 5.1 by the time you watch this video. So uh, what we need to do is just download that from the download button then, and then just install it as you would any other software. It should install alongside the version you've got already. So if you want to keep that version, or if you're brand new to this, then just install it. And it's an easy install. I've already installed it and I've got it running here. So we'll just open it up. And then if we do a rescan, would help to plug it in. <laughs> so if you just do a rescan, should get a port there, COM6, and if we do a connect. So I'll just show you on the new software what we've got that's different. So what we've got now, we've got a, an invert homing direction and we've got an invert uh, access direction. And what it does the tick box indicates whether that axis is inverted. So it tells you what you've got there all, already. So uh, uh, that's what we're gonna do is show you how to go about this the correct way. So once you've got that installed, we should be ready to go and we'll go through the correct procedure to do this. Right, so guys, in this next section, what we're gonna do is show you the correct procedure to do this uh, axis and homing uh, directions. Now, the way to do it, even if you're using homing, is what we do is we disable homing. Because what we want, we don't want that interfering with getting our axis direction correct. So we start off by getting the axis directions correct first. And then once we've got that correct, then we go and enable homing, and then we can check the homing direction. Now the way to do this, if we go on to And you can see at the moment it says homing cycle, so that's um, enabled. So what we want to do, if we go on to settings, if we go down to dollar uh, twenty-two, twenty-two there, where it's got homing cycle, what we do, we just change that to a zero. Make sure you press enter, and then what I usually do is just tell it to get the garble settings again, just to make sure it's taken it. So that. That should now be zero. So if we go back to the interface, what we do is we now do a disconnect. So you see it's still red, but it's, it's almost looks a bit grayed out now. So if we disconnect and then reconnect, and then we're reconnected and the homing cycle button is gray, grayed out now. So the, the homing isn't going to interfere with us. And we've just got this unlock alarm here. You can just do unlock on that. And that just means we're ready to go now. So what we need to do first of all is set this jogging distance. What we don't want, we don't want it going off and trying to do 50 millimetres um, or if you've got it running in inches, you know, um, two or three inches. We just want to do the smallest distance. So at the moment we've got uh, 10 and 1. So we're going to set it to 1. And if I apply some power, because we've got power, if you notice at the moment the motors are free, if I put some power on, now the motors, I, I can't turn that one, it's locked now. They should all be the same. So that's a good check to make sure you've got your, every axis is connected back again properly after we dis disconnected them. So what we're going to do, so this is our U axis here. What should happen is when we press U plus, it should come forwards. So we've got it set to one millimeter. So if we watch this carefully, if we just press U plus, it should go one millimeter forward. 
and it has done. Now, if it didn't, let's go back to settings. What we would do, we would just toggle the switch there on the U-axis there and then press apply. And it then says the direction invert port mask dollar three has been set to one. So that should be set to one. And for it to take effect, what we have to do, we have to disconnect and reconnect. And what I found is sometimes it takes it, other times it doesn't. So we just disconnect, connect. And if we go into now what will happen now is the U-axis will should go the wrong way now. So this is what you might come across. So if I do one on the U-axis, it should come forward. Please check, oh, unlock. There we go. So that's going backwards, which is the wrong direction. So if you had that situation, you go into settings, apply and then we go into the disconnect reconnect press unlock this time and then now if I press U it should come forward and it does now so if we we're happy it's going forward with one okay we can just try a few more millimeters just to make sure yeah so now, now we're going forward uh, absolutely fine. So we just go back to one. And all we do now is we go and check each of the other axes. So we'll check on the, um, on the Z axis. So that should go up, which is this one here. And it does. And then we check on the, um, the x-axis which is over there can we see that one up yeah I'll put that onto 10 because I think so if we check on the x-axis and that's come forward and again if any of them are wrong just go into here and put them toggle them tick boxes and then if we check our uh, y-axis now, we'll put that to one. And that's y going in the right direction. So all you need to do is go through and do that. But, but do remember, if you do change one, if you do change one of these, you need to go back, disconnect, and then reconnect. As you, you might, I found during my testing that sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. So you're always best to disconnect and reconnect. So now we've got the axis is working in the correct direction. What we can do now is then check homing. So what we'll do now is we'll check the homing to see if that's going in the correct direction. Now, if you find homing is going in the wrong direction, um, what you need to do is stop it before it comes against, it runs out of travel. And the easiest way to stop it is just press the reset. So. But before we can do this, we need to re-enable homing. So we go back into settings. We go back into homing cycle. Change that to a one. Press select. And then also what I need to do is it, it takes soft limits off as well. So I need to set that back to one as well. Soft limits is where we've only got um, four end stops so we've got end stops uh, at the end and um, for the maximum travel we use a soft limit rather than another switch it just makes things a lot easier so we'll enter that just re get the settings again make sure it's taking them if we go back to the interface see that home cycles come on but we still need to disconnect reconnect so what I've done is I've purposely set the Z axis. We've reset our, our homing with the dollar one and our soft limits. 
So what we need to do, if anything starts going the wrong way, the easiest way to, to, to stop it is press reset because uh, it will just carry on going until it tries to find a, a switch and there won't be no switch up here if it goes the wrong way, if it's this axis. So what we'll do, we'll set the homing cycle going. Now as you can see now that the, the Z axis is going up, so it's never going to uh, reach the switch. So what we need to do is do a reset. and we get this warning message up, alarm six. And then we go into settings, and then we set our Z axis correctly again, and we say okay. And you can see that's changing dollar 23 there, the home in direction Burt mask. We go back up to interface, uh, and we do a disconnect, connect, hopefully now that the, uh, the Z axis should go in the right direction. So it should go down. So if we go home recycle, there we go, it's going down now. So I'll, I'll speed this bit up a bit because it's a, a bit of a long process. And that's it. So now the Z axis, uh, sorry, the U axis is going correctly now. So that's going back until it meets the switches. If any of them is wrong, just change it, set the apply button, and then come back onto the interface and do a disconnect and um, reconnect and the setting should be taken then. So I think you, you find that's a lot easier because um, the previous way was to go in, we had to go in and look at this table and see and do a test to find out which axis was going the wrong way and then you'd have to go in and put a value in. And it, you can do it that way but it is, I think on the new software it's a lot simpler so uh, so that's the correct procedure. So just remember the correct procedure is disable homing. So you don't have to have homing, it's just a nice feature to have. But if you do have homing, the correct procedure is get your access directions working correctly first, then enable homing with $1.22 and soft limits as well if you're using soft limits, and then go and check each axis is homing in the correct direction. And uh, I think you should find that should be a lot easier. I, I do have guys contact me and, you know, getting a little bit of a muddle with it all. And, uh, you know, sometimes I have to sort of go through it with them and set, give them the correct value to put into dollar three and dollar twenty three. Uh, so this way should be a lot easier. So the software will be up on the uh, website uh, as this video is released. So just download it, give it a try. You won't lose any settings with the new software. Uh, the only th thing I would say if you if you have used it before and you've used any macros because on the software we've got some macros here and um, we've got there's one here called slice uh, if you've created your own macros then the thing to do is just copy them out first um, there isn't a transfer procedure with it so just copy them out first and then just paste them back in so uh, that'll be it so uh, so that's the easy access configuration. So I hope you found that useful, guys. If you're building a machine and you have struggled with that, I think you'll find this a lot easier. And uh, you know, nothing else is changed in the software, so everything works as before. It's just that that's its changed. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.